Thanks, Henry. If you visited our Arts Gateway recently, you might have seen our web story about another artist who is well regarded but not a household name. Stephen Benwell is a ceramicist who has been making exquisite figurines for more than 20 years and he recently invited us into his Melbourne studio for a private glimpse into his world. I went to the VCA but they didn't teach uh, ceramics there. But it was a funny sort of time, it was the early 70s and it was, I, I was interested in painting but I was a kind of, you know, I was a bit behind the times. I was painting a bit like Picasso or something like that. And I didn't really understand modern art movements. So I, see, I guess I moved sideways a bit in, into craft and into ceramics. I had my first exhibition of pottery and I, uh, you know, did, I sold a lot of it and I've that was in 1975, and I've really just gone on doing the same thing ever since. Just, um, yeah, it seemed to be the only thing I could do. Most of the work was made um, after I made a trip to Greece a couple of years ago. Classical art has been revisited, reinvented by um, a lot of different artists. I suppose one thing that interests me a bit is how things are repeated. How other artists have gone back to something else and repeated it and reworked it. And the problems involved with that, you know, like you can't just copy it directly, you have to find your own way of making it. Again, it's like an, an influence, and inspiration, but it has to be your own. But when you go to the museums, uh, particularly there in Greece, a lot of what you see um, is very stained and weathered. It's often broken. And the marble itself is, uh, has veins of colour and varies in colour too. So the way I've painted my statues, a lot of the paint is dribbled down them to sort of mimic this kind of weathering and the way water dripping down or something will make these marvellous designs on the statue, which to me sort of add to the whole thing. Sometimes I let things happen spontaneously. I just get bits of clay and twist them into shapes. Building a little statue is a bit like that too. It goes on like that. The clay itself can actually settle in ways that, and form things on its own that I like, you know, so I work a bit like that. I work on a small scale. I mean, it's a lot of things are easier on a small scale. I wish I could make bigger things. Actually, I think it'd be great to be able to make bigger things too. It's a bit more about accepting my own limitations. These latest things I'm doing are sort of little groupings of, of bits and pieces that are three, four, five years old that I've had lying around here. Uh, reusing old work and making new things to add to them. You know, things evolve like that over really a long period of time. It's a luxury, isn't it, to have time to spend on your work. And that's a good thing, to not say things, oh, something's finished now. No, you know, keep it, look at it, think about it. The process can go on like that over a long time. 